Welcome everyone to Platinum 3, Platinum 3 Flex Q, that's the correct way. Um, I have a really good idea, and uh, the idea is to combine the builds of MDL and Jeba, and look what happens. Because I actually think it's, it's kind of nice to have the best of both worlds, basically. Damn, not missing minions, please. Um, yeah, I go with the Dark Harvest, with MDL's rune page, basically, and um, somewhat go for MDL's, uh, for, for Jeba's build, which is Lethality item, a, um, well, actually Ghost Blade into, I got level 2, we retreat, uh, into um, Death Stance, into Rage Blade, and I just go, instead of Ghost Blade, I go Dusk Blade because of Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter gives me kind of a... Ghostblade passive, so there's that. And then I think Absolute Focus in combination with Death Stance is really good because you can keep up the the extra AD for longer. For Boots, I just simply go with uh, Berserker's Greaves. They are really well performing on Misfortune in the current patch. And since I don't have the attack speed from, uh, from the Precision Tree, I think they are worth a little bit more than the extra movement speed. Um, the movement speed I would get from uh, Swifties, that is. Well, and Rageblade, of course, yeah, uh, is <laughs> really good with additional attack speed, so uh, I kind of want that. But uh, the the real... Uh, what what really uh, is the, the selling point of this build is that it is not under that much pressure to uh, really dominate the enemy early game because Dark Harvest, Infinite Scaling, Gathering Storm, Infinite Scaling, Rage Blade, super sick with all this uh, AD and also really good scaling into the game. Yeah, I, I really like the idea. Let's see how it plays out. Well, so far we are not doing that good of a job poking them, but yeah, it's okay. As I've said, I'm not under pressure, at least I don't feel like I am. Damn, I could have sworn this was the correct angle to bounce on them. Yeah, we have a little bit less damage in lane because we are missing mana from Mana Flow Band and damage from Eerie. But yeah, I think the trade-off is definitely worth it. I'm also looking forward to the uh, new Keystone, uh, not the new Keystone, the new... Also not new rune, the um, old rune that is... Uh, Ultimate Hat, which will be in the Domination Tree next patch, basically. So, um, we can pick that over Relentless Hunter. I think it will benefit Misfortune greatly. Nice. Finally some poke damage. Yeah, as long as we can keep the Braum low, we cannot really do much. So, poke damage on the Braum, or any, ta any tank support, is very much appreciated. Well, that's not on the tower, now it is. And I get the minion. Easy. Also, the Taste of Blood kind of makes our lane phase a little bit safer, so... Ooh, that was nice. So we should be able to reach that juicy three item state more reliably. So Giovanni is on a fucking rampage. Well, not a rampage, just a killing spree, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, she will be troublesome. For her, I would... Kind of like to have Swifties, but at the same time, I think the attack speed is too important. I just need to play a little bit better. Oh, I greeted for the bounce. Wasted mana. Really must not happen to me. Again, I greeted. Uh, I'm at 100 mana right now, which is very low. Might greet for this one though. Okay. Um, Brom took quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, the lane is going fine-ish, I guess. The the Ash is doing a little bit better of a job farming, but she is very low on HP. She's respecting the Q-bounces really well. I have to give it to her. I could have uh, gotten more farm by using more abilities, but since I waste my abilities on 
Uh, not bouncing cues. Yeah, I don't have that mana to spare. Right, very nice poke from the Soraka there. I greet it again. Yeah, but my mana is actually looking fine right now. Enough to fight at least. The Ash is so low, however, that she will need to back very soon. I can flash on her, maybe. She has heal, though. If she reacts correctly, I just waste my flash for a heal, and I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, she just backs off now. Nice. Delaying a back is always very much worth it in the early game, especially. Yeah, she now even uh, doesn't go for the back, since she is too afraid of... Uh, Kind of wave. Oh, this 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 looks like a bait, a backing there. Right, getting the Brom low too. Worth a try, I guess. Nice, nice. Got both of them. That was juicy. A <laughs> minion blocked. Uh, it's fine though. I'm still very healthy. Even if they come now, I'm still safe. That was a very well executed dive flow. Okay, um, yeah, this is a good time to back. 100%. Yeah, now the, um,. The yeah, Ashes quite a bit behind. Less farm, no cysts, and no tower gold. Yeah, these plus boots look fine, I guess. And a control ward. Mm, we could swap with top lane. Yeah, we probably should even. We definitely should. The dragon here, it's just an ocean drake, and a uh, lane phase. Is also uh, coming to an end quite soon this game, which greatly decreases the value of Ocean Drakes. They're really good in lane, but after lane, I don't feel like they have much impact. I might be wrong though, but I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, we can either dive or just take the tower now. Ash arrow on me. Can I move? Thank you. <laughs> Goodness, that's such a long stun. I need a lot of items this game. I need a Executioner's Calling for the Vladimir. I need QSS for Ash and Sejuani. But of course I need my core build, which I really want to test. Um, yeah, top tower is gone though, so we can now rotate mid lane. That was a very good teleport from Maokai, by the way. Getting all these minions and protecting our mid tower, which is quite uh, valuable. Mid tower is um, when you lose mid tower, the map is so open for the enemy. They can freely invade your jungle then. Okay, Ari doesn't want this kind of minion. I respect that. Mm, can I stop the? Oh, should I even care? Yeah, I should just siege mid. Bot tower is not worth that much at this point. Of course it would be nice to keep it, but if I cannot protect it, and uh, the, it's it's quite a bit of a of a run down there. I'd much rather stay with my lane, be useful that way. Uh, not with my lane, but with my team. That's what I wanted to say. Ooh, nice. Fourth stack already. Uh, I don't like this dragon call. They definitely know. This will be a smite fight. Um, or not. The Sejuani wasn't there for some reason. Very nice. Unlucky I didn't get the soul. I might be able to pick it off still. I don't know how much they. Oh, how long they linger. Long enough, it seems. Alright. 
Yeah, soul stacks, um, they're not that important, I don't think. Well, uh, generally speaking, you you should always, always value your health a total over a random soul stack. Speaking of health total... Yeah, I shouldn't. Top tower looks a little bit iffy now too. However, as long as we can siege their mid effectively, I think we are in a better position. Uh, position. And now we have even more kills and a dragon on top of that. Looking strong. You can really feel the difference between taking precision and alacrity and not taking it. Uh, you could probably go into the... Um, <laughs> damn. Need to, need to, no, I don't need to fight. You can probably go into the precision tree too, but then you miss out on so much AD. I think you re really need gathering storm. Else you are too reliant on your soul stacks with your damage. All this extra AD feeds into your Rage Blade so effectively. Yo, what's happening? Um, yeah, that was a really good fight. I don't know why they focused so poorly. They basically ignored me, and ignoring an AD carry that can get resets effectively. Soul stacks, yeah. As soon as someone dies, and quite a few people died there, I just deal so much extra damage with, um, with Arc Harvest. Yeah. Poor macro play by them. I won't complain though. I won't complain. I should really spend my gold though. Yeah, I should leave. This is an overstay. Yep. There you go. Just leave, bro, please. Yeah. Spend your gold. As long as the gold is in your inventory, it doesn't do anything. You always have to remember that. Oh, this is not a good position to back. We cannot. We didn't back into- I should have backed, I should have just backed instead of fending off this Sejuani. Oh yeah, in this awkward position. And I even missed the cannon minion. Yeah, I think I should be able to back off now. Ari is able to clear a non-cannon wave in a second. This, get this. And those two. Don't need that one. Alright, that was a very good back. Finally having some items. Ash sitting on this, she will probably... no. She won't have her Essence Reaver. Yeah, she has 20 more farm, but stat-wise I have so much more gold than her. Well, by stat-wise I mean KDA-wise, obviously. I don't think I should go, I should uh, go bot lane. Yeah, Mark, I should. You always stay with your team in this situation, especially as an AD carry. Uh, well, when you have teleport, yeah, the the guy with teleport basically needs to needs to leave. As long as we keep wards in the area to uh, to which he actually can you teleport, um, easy dodge. Wow. I got murdered. Ari should be able to clean this up though. Right as I say that, she dies. Yeah. Um, that was a <laughs> poorly executed fight. The fight before that was very poorly played by them, but the fight afterwards, aka this fight, yeah. 
returning the favor. We even lose Mattel now. Damn. My ult got cancelled. I might need to buy a... I need so many items. I think I even need a... Um, what is its name? Edge of Night. So I can... Uh, prevent the the Brom from cancelling me. Because it's basically point and click for him. I'm a sitting duck while channeling my ultimate. What up the dragon area? Um, yeah, but I don't start it. My team needs me. Yep, <laughs> my team definitely needed me. Sichuani, so meanwhile, is trying my ward, which I do not appreciate, but what can you do? Ash is now super fed. Four kills, yeah. One and a half crit items. He's slowly coming online now. Mm, they are probably on dragon, so we should be looking for uh, this herald. 18 eyeball collection stacks. And no. They cannot react in time either, so it's. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Fandle should take this. Yeah. Need to stay safe. Nice, we win this fight easily. Yeah, two for zero. That's quite a message. We should be getting this tower then. Easily. Yeah, um, not pushing my luck there. Spot farm looks very juicy. Uh, they should be... Ooh. I don't think they should take more than this tower. Well, we see Ash on the map, but the rest of them are respawning. When you win a fight, you should of course be looking to take objectives. But when you overstay, you easily give up kills and objectives in return. Which you do not want, of course. Yeah, they should ju just uh, leave this. They played this correctly. Took the tower and left. Alright. Now we can play around Baron, I think. Yeah. I have a lot of ID right now. 202. Rageblade will be so efficient. Damn, Ari. Better run for your life, bro. Yeah, let's take Baron. Easy. The most important thing in this fight is me flashing the Sejuani ult. Everything else was just, um, yeah, whatever. The Sejuani ult would have killed me easily. Teleport's coming in.
Damn, we cannot take Baron there. Yeah, we should leave this. We are unluckily not in the position to do so. However, they aren't either. I would really like to go back, but we can't. Well, Vladimir's bot lane, Ash's mid lane, Camille's top lane. We aren't really under pressure. Yeah, we'll be gone before they are there. Let's go back real quick. Oh, damn, another control ward. Yeah, I cannot take out this one. Not a good idea. Next up, Rageblade. Ult in 20 seconds. The warden here? Uh, I didn't. I don't know what triggered my. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Does it? I ult in two seconds. Need to be careful. I'm way out of position. I get the soul. Nope. Just not quick enough. I need to be careful. I don't know whether Ash used her arrow or not. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit of wards there. We need vision on Baron though. Unlucky. They should be dead though. They are way too low to fight. Yeah. Let's kill the Brom and take Baron. Stupid shield thing. Give me a soul though. Um yeah, let's just take Baron. Definitely the best play. They cannot challenge it. The jungler is dead and we should take it quick enough. Five man. Twenty-five minutes. Yeah, it should be taken in time. I can even use a little bit of mana here to take it faster. Yeah, we should be making it. Reset, please. Don't greed for kills. For goodness. This kill, of course, was free, but I always uh, hold my breath when the team doesn't recall after Baron. I've seen throws happen there way too many times. Way too many. Uh, yeah, we should be looking for some towers as well. And you have Baron buff, of course. All you need to do is just go to lanes and buff up the minions. Fighting in the jungle is not really uh, something I would recommend there, but the trundle does it anyway. Looks to win it though. Ash arrow. Vladimir behind me. Right. 
I couldn't join the fun in the front line there. But uh, I managed to not get killed by the Vladimir. Uh, this fight should win us the game, really. Yeah, this build <laughs> looks very, very good in-game and on paper. And uh, you should definitely be expecting more of it in the coming videos. Um, yeah, as for my... Uh, my other champions, if you want me to show you, I, uh, I, I had the feeling that the, the data mined videos, uh, were, were working pretty well, and that you liked them, so, um, if you want to see more of those, let me know, if you want to see more of something else, let me know, yeah, I'm always open to recommendations, and, uh, I hope to see you next time.